Hi guys, welcome to Apichip. In this video, we are going to see what is Poodle attack and what is TLS fallback SCSV and how we can check if the SSL connection supports this mechanism using test SSL tool. First of all, let's try to understand what is TLS or SSL. TLS stands for transport layer security and SSL stands for secure socket layer. These are the cryptographic protocol used to uh, encrypt and secure the data uh, getting transferred between the client and the server. So there are different versions of these protocols like uh, starting from uh, like uh, SSL v2 and uh, going forward we have SSL 1.v3, uh, SSL 1.3 which is being the latest one and is more secure and fast. So first of all, we recommend you to watch our uh, one more video how HTTPS or you know TLS SSL works, how the TLS handshake happens to understand this in a more better way. Let's see what is Poodle. Poodle stands for Padding Oracle on Downgraded Legacy Encryption. This is a type of vulnerability in which the attacker, that is uh, the man in the middle, tries to downgrade the TLS connection to the version SSL v3. And then, if the cipher suits use RC4 or block cipher in CBC mode, attacker can retrieve partial bytes of the encrypted text and then uh, con get uh, converted into the plain text. So, what what uh, the attacker is doing? It is trying to interrupt the communication and uh, trying to downgrade the TLS version on which client and server will agree on. So before the during the handshake, attacker will try to reduce or downgrade the version of the protocol so that it can retrieve the data in plain text. It can retrieve the data and later on it can convert into the plain text. Now let's see what is TLS fallback SCSV. So SCSV stands for signaling cipher suit value. So basically it's a mechanism to ensure that that the downgrade between TLS or SSL is happening should be a valid one and if it is not valid then abort the connection. So there could be a valid case when the client is asking server to create a SSL connection and the client has version 1.1 and, uh, and the server can support 1.3 as well but since uh, version 1.3 is not available at client so server might downgrade to the version 1.1 or whichever is the best version available at client side. So in that case, uh, it could be a valid connection to downgrade the SSL version. But if the if the client have a better protocol, suppose the client have 1.3 version of TLS and the server supports 1.3, 1.2, 1.1 and the client sent a client hello message to the server to create a SSL connection and it also sends the TLS fallback SCSV signal with it. Along with that it also sends the available protocol that it supports like TLS 1.3, TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.1. So it sends all these data to the server. Meanwhile the attacker can, uh, can alter the request and it can say like uh, I want the connection to be on 1.2 or 1.1 instead of 1.3. The server after receiving the request may uh, will check like what is the best available uh, what is the best available TLS version the client is supporting. So so the server will check the client hello message and it knows like it say it, uh, the version 1.3 is also supported but 1.2 is asked. So it can abort the connection like uh, server knows like it can support the best version then why it is being uh, downgraded. So the it will so the server will uh, respond with a new alert called inappropriate fallback. This alert will uh, it's, a, it's a fatal error and uh, in this case the connection the SSL connection will be aborted. So the attacker may try uh, this step again and again and if the uh, if the web server have, if your uh, if the server supports SSL v3 and the client also supports SSL v3, in that case, uh, the connection will be made over SSL v3 and uh, the attack may happen. 
so what you can do is uh, suppose uh, you are using a web server like nginx so you can uh, you can configure nginx and disable the ssl v3 completely now there will be a question like why uh, why to have ssl v3 so there are certain version of browsers like uh, ie6 which uh, which uh, still supports ssl v3 and uh, so there might be a case when uh, the browser is there which supports ssl v3 and uh, that is why the server also needs to support ssl v3 so in that case uh, uh, the attack might happen so this is how uh, we have a blog post on how you can protect nginx from portal attack against ssl v3 so in nginx configuration find all the blocks like http mail stream or server blocks and look for ssl protocols directive and in this directive you should have only tls and you should omit ssl v3 so if if you have configured nginx not to support ssl v3 so if even if the client is asking for uh, ssl v3 then the server will not agree and it will abort the connection so this is how uh, you can uh, prevent nginx from portal attack similarly you can configure other web uh, web server as well now how can you determine like if uh, the, the server you are connecting to supports the uh, downgrade attack prevention or not so there is a tool called test ssl this is the link and you can clone it from github and run this uh, script with hyphen z option on the url or domain which you want to check on so let's check this out so i have already cloned it now run let's run it the script is test ssl.sh and hyphen z is the option to check this uh, vulnerability and the domain is google.com let's see okay so it says downgrade attack prevention is supported that means it is safe so this is how you can check and prevent your uh, domain or website from the portal attack. I hope you enjoyed the video. For much more detail, I'll put the, uh, the link of this blog in the description section. So you will find all the relevant links in the description section. Please like, subscribe and share the video. Keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for watching.